My name is Charlene Hoff. I'm the principal at, at Highland Park Middle School. I'm currently in my 15th year here and um, each and every year we've really tried to create the best possible uh, program and experience uh, for our kids and our families. So I'm super excited for the upcoming year. Thanks for taking this virtual tour with us. Um, uh, as you are checking out schools um, that you want your child to go to. So at Highland, we focus on three things and I believe in keeping things simple um, so that we do those three things really well. The first focus that we have is um, we organize our students into small learning communities called teams. And this small group of students is attached to uh, their core teachers and um, they spend all year together and do a lot of community building, um, a lot of, um, you know, checking in socially, emotionally, uh, a lot of um, academic feedback, and they really get to know the kids um, and their families um, when you get to spend a whole year with them. So it's also part of, uh, you know, just the best practice of, of a middle school experience is for them to be organized into these small learning communities called teams. Um, the second focus that we have is um, the WEB program and WEB stands for where everybody belongs and this serves two purposes for us. Um, it is a eighth grade mentoring uh, ambassador kind of program and they are charged with and trained with, trained to, um, orient and be mentors to our great incoming grade six students. So they're very active in their foundations classes, providing lessons that are relevant to um, a student's middle school experience. They also help us um, with uh, several orienting activities um, in, in August, right before school starts. And um, they're assigned to 10 sixth graders and the web leaders bring them through ac certain activities that are designed to uh, lower the anxiety level that kids might be feeling as they transition to grade six. So that's our web program. Um, the third program that we're really proud of is our International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program. And this is both um, a pedagogy that we follow uh, in the form of a unit planner and it also provides us with uh, a social emotional kind of approach to uh, the middle school student. Um, this unit planner is very powerful. Uh, it's, it's a collaborative in nature. Um, the content teachers, all of our teachers plan with another teacher who teaches the same content and they really um, come up with strategies, uh, lessons, assessments um, that are engaging and that they can measure then um, with each of their groups as far as how the kids are doing, what do they need to, um, to um, re, re, um, revisit if the students, uh, a majority of students are not understanding a concept. And so they're sharing best practices while they're doing this planning. This is a grade six through 10 program. And so the cool thing about that is that we get to plan with the nine, 10 teachers at the, at the high school. So it's really a six through 10 program. And, um, you know, the content area teachers are, are meeting and um, designing that scope and sequence from 10th grade back down to sixth grade. So it's a very powerful um, program uh, and we're very proud of it. Um, if you are not able to take our tour, um, I'm hoping that this uh, short informational video uh, has helped you kind of get to know what we do at Highland. And um, I would urge you also to attend our showcase, which is on January 13th from 6 to 7.30. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time. And if you have any questions, to, uh, feel free to give us a call and let us know. Okay, take care. My name is Ms. Muhammad. I am one of the one of uh, two assistant principals here at Highland Park Middle. Um, I primarily right now work with 
the sixth grade teams, as Ms. Hoff has shared, our school is split up into teams. Um, prior to my um, arrival here at Highland Park Middle, I actually worked in curriculum and instruction at teaching and learning over at Minneapolis Public School. And prior to that, I was an English language arts teacher. So um, I'm really excited to join the teams here and um, just really learn and grow with everyone. I, of course, I arrived right at the middle of the pandemic. So we had a whole school year um, virtual and that was really fascinating to watch, you know, this team in full effect during um, a, a, a pandemic, a worldwide pandemic. Um, and really, I think there is when I really started to see how our when you have very strong systems in place, how that really supports the entire school and, um, and making sure that we're supporting the, the, the individual students. Um, I've really been impressed um, by our teams, which this year I actually am with the sixth graders. So that's really exciting. I'm, a, I'm the sixth grade admin and I have one team of eighth graders. And what that means, as Ms. Hoff probably had shared earlier, is that I actually travel with these students um, throughout their whole experience. And so um, they get to see me sixth grade, seventh grade and eighth grade. I've gotten to you know, connect more deeply with the parents. Um, as situations arise, I've gotten to celebrate on our assembly days with our students. I've um, seen students excited about you know sharing projects and going on trips, and um, I'm there every lunch and recess. So I see as the friendships are bonding between students, and um, and and there are sometimes when things aren't going well in those in those friendships that they make, and so it's been really exciting um, way to actually operate and run a school because we get to see the whole child and we get to travel with the kids. Um, my counselor uh, that I work very closely with, I have an eighth grade counselor and I have a sixth grade counselor. Um, and I think it's so fascinating that we have a, a grade level dedicated counselor at each of the grade levels. So that makes it a really great experience for those students and those families as well, because the counselors also travel like the administrators um, with the students. Um, as you are thinking about joining Highland and you're thinking about all the academics and friends that you're gonna make, um, middle school is, is a challenging time. It is the messy middle and um, we know that um, social emotional is uh, and, 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 and learning how to grow and the dynamics of like building friends, all of those things are just as, as important um, as making sure that you have a rigorous um, and robust academic um, experience here. And so we do have um, in school um, uh, multiple uh, clubs. We actually have one that happens every single day um, of the week right now. And each of those really cater to different um, go different, you know, uh, topics uh, that students like, and it's a great opportunity for students to make more friends for like-minded peers. Um, so I've really been excited to to see those flourish that are operated by different staff and our school counselors. Majority are the ones that are holding that. Um, other than that, I'm very excited to meet you all. Um, I'm not going to be the administrator for you guys, but of course we'll all be seeing one another. We'll be working with one another, but my colleague, Mr. Andrastic, will be the one um, to really work through. I don't have a mask on because I'm by myself in my office, um, but hope cross, fingers crossed that, you know, things are well by the time you guys join and, and we're not masking. But other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and looking forward to meeting you all. Bye-bye. Hello, my name is John Androstic, and I will be the assistant principal next year for the incoming sixth grade Eagles students, and that's all the non-immersion students, including though the Chinese immersion students at Highland Park Middle School. Welcome to the virtual tour, and thank you for considering Highland Park Middle School as your option for next year. One thing about Highland Park Middle School that we're so proud of is having a true middle school model. And that means your math, English, science, and social studies teachers work together to plan monthly assemblies that celebrate being part of a team. And they also work with just the students on that team. So uh, all of the students have those five core teachers, one in math, two in English language arts, one in science, and one in social studies. One thing that we're also very proud of here is that uh, as an assistant principal, I can build relationships with students, so I follow the students every year. So I'll be your assistant principal next year and the following two years while uh, you're at Highland Park Middle School. I worked in public education for 26 years and 17 of those are, are in a middle school. So I really value the students at this age. 
what students can bring to the environment at the school. And I really appreciate the work we do, not only as a middle school model school, but also um, with our IB MYP focus. Uh, having an MYP focus uh, means that we're looking at standards that go beyond our state standards. There are universal standards that are taught throughout the world and hold students at a high level of expectation and knowledge building. So thank you for considering Highland Park Middle School as an option and enjoy the virtual tour. Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Mulvaney and I am going to be the school counselor for grade six next year. I'll be working with the assistant principals, Mr. Androstic and Ms. Mohammed. Um, I am looking forward to having um, the sixth graders join us. I know it seems like a long way off, but it goes fast. Um, a little bit about me. I have been here for many years. I think uh, about 25. Um, my kids went to school here. Um, I saw one at the high school, but the others are all out. Um, yeah, and so I've been here for a while. I love what I do. I love the students and I love the people I work with. It's a great place to be. Um, a little bit about what counselors do. You probably had experience with school counselors at the elementary levels too. Um, we work with students on schedules, uh, schedule conflicts, or figuring out which classes are most appropriate. Um, we also work in classrooms with a lot of social emotional learning supports, um, doing some core counseling curriculum delivery, looking at college and career kind of preparation. Um, so we'll do the classroom lessons. We also do um, individual supports, whether it's social emotional with students or problem solving, students having conflicts um, or needing some academic supports or organizational supports. We may do that as well. We also offer small group supports um, and consult with parents as questions might come up. So we are kind of uh, in charge of helping uh, make sure that the transition to middle school goes well um, and work with students um, kind of as developmentally appropriate on whatever skills or strategies or things that they need to have in place to get to the next step in their education, um, if that makes sense. Um, so that's a little bit about what we do. Um, a little bit about Highland. One of the cool things when you get to middle school is that you are able to do some additional things that are interesting to you or find things that um, are outside of, so you'll have your classes, but then in addition to your classes, having some opportunities. We have student lunch groups that meet um, every, every day, different lunch groups that are open for students to attend if they want to during lunch. Um, so we have like People Unified, which is working for social inclusion for kids with disabilities and kids without disabilities. The GSA meets once a week, Black Student Union. So as you are interested in these activities or these lunch groups, you can join um, and attend. Um, we also have sports, obviously, after school, and then Scott's after school, which is an enrichment program. Um, so a lot of things, like I said, in addition to the classes you take, a lot of things that you are able to kind of pick um, and choose what's interesting to you. Um, the last thing I want to mention real quick is for incoming sixth grade too, you'll be working with our eighth graders. We have eighth grade web leaders and I know Ms. Hoff mentioned web in her in her talk, but um, the web leaders work with our sixth graders during foundations um, one day a week on really helping with that transition to um, to middle school. So. The web leaders come in and get trained by us over the summer, and then they help us with the sixth graders with different activities that have to do with bully prevention or stress management or organization. Um, and so it's a way for our eighth graders to develop leadership skills and also for our eighth graders to help our sixth graders transition to middle school successfully. So a lot of information. I look forward to meeting you all, whether it's through tours or shadows or uh, orientation or in the fall when you're here. Um, yeah, it's a good place to be and I look forward to meeting you. Um, my name is Linda Jones and I have been at Highland Park Middle School 
for um, quite some time. I've been the IB coordinator since 2007 um, and teaching at Highland Park Middle School since 2001. I am also um, a halftime half -time Spanish teacher. And so I teach seventh and eighth grade Spanish in the non-immersion program. So I just wanna share just a brief, um, a little bit of information about the IB, which stands for International Baccalaureate MYP Middle Years Program. Um, this is designed for students aged 11 to 16, and it actually extends um, into Highland Park Senior High. It is for grades six through 10. Uh, we, we, we work closely with Highland Park Senior High and Highland Park Senior High staff to create um, an articulated program across five grade levels. What I really love about the MYP is that it provides a framework or a pedagogy of learning that encourages um, our students to become creative and critical and reflective thinkers. Um, as Ms. Mohammed said earlier, it's not only about the academic and while it does offer a rigorous program, we really want our students to become holistic um, learners and that also really um, focuses on allowing them to become independent learners and um, focuses on their social and emotional learning as well. What is wonderful about the international baccalaureate programs is that it is truly international and that we require the study of at least two languages um, at Highland Park Middle School. So students will take English um, or their immersion program. And then in addition to that, um, work towards becoming multilingual or bilingual. Um, it has rigorous and comprehensive comprehensive arts and PE and design. And so you might think of your core subjects being the main subjects, but we also have um, eight subject areas that are rigorous and balanced. Um, we also really encourage our students and empower our students to participate in service within the community. And so we want them to take what they're learning and push it outside of the classroom walls and really work to make a difference in our community. We know that younger adolescents and adolescents learn best when their learning experiences have context. Um, we work really hard and teachers are trained to connect the learning in the classroom to the lives of our students and the worlds that, you know, the lives and the worlds that they have experienced. And so this is where students see the sort of engagement between how they feel and how they think and how it relates to what they're learning in the classroom. We use concepts as a vehicle for students to inquire into issues um, that are both personal and local and also have global significance. And we really want the students to examine what they're learning and knowing more holistically. As I mentioned before, we want students to become independent learners. So we provide them with tools and skills that help students learn how to learn. This is really critical for students, especially as they enter adolescence that they need help in learning. And it's not just the content, but how to access that content that is critical. Um, and again, like as I, as I said before, language and identity are really critical and we really hope to promote intercultural, stand, intercultural understanding in our building as they work in more than just one language. There's a lot more I could add to this and I'm always um, happy to have conversations around the IB all students who enter Highland have access to the International Baccalaureate program. It is for everyone. All of our teachers are trained in it and we hope that um, your student can have a great experience in the IB here at Highland Park Middle. Mm -hmm.